And first off, like, just go ahead and grab it. Tell me what you think. Of course, all metal. It's built like a freaking brick house. Yeah. It's crazy. So this right here is all one piece, and it's, it's not composite. I thought it was going to be composite. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all aluminum. Yeah, it's all aluminum. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, this, I was worried about these, like, right here maybe breaking. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Not, <laughs> so the stop is uh, very definite. Like, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And that's 330 or 550. And, and notice how this guy here is rotating with this guy. Yes. Um, so it's got a traditional connector. That, the three ball. Yep. Yep. Okay. So uh, I like the tag that they put on there so that somebody doesn't do something stupid. But even even the gaps that are left on here, it's got Teflon bearings. Oh, it's got the Teflon on it. Yeah, yeah. What, what is this rotation? Is that 330 or 5? Did it rotate it? Let's see how far it goes around. Yeah, it's 550, 540. It, yeah. go, it goes quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay. So, it, and then let's lay it down like this. Yeah, that thing is so, <laughs> yeah, take a look at this. So first off, those look like light sensors. You see that? Those yes. those are light field sensors. They are. And okay, so there's and, and so let me explain that technology. So what happens is is as you and we'll see this once we fire it up. When you lean into the light, um, this ah, decreases yeah, yeah. and it increases in the other. So area. it's a it's shadow. Yeah, shadow, shadow control. control. Okay, exactly. So the only thing that I'm iffy about is this handle. Out of this whole entire thing, this is, would be your sterile handle. Right. This appears to be the weak link so you can see it's got an index pin mm -hmm. that goes through there and it's in a gap maybe that's okay but you see that tiny little pin in there that one that's off to the side yeah, does it break that or is what locks it in and kind of interfaces i think now what, what normally happens is is if i'm not mistaken Go ahead, slap it on try it out super easy yeah I, it i don't know so this the question of durability yeah this feels like maybe it's not as durable but then again you feel the actuation, it's much more positive it, than right, on many yeah, other it's devices. doing some type of adjustment here. Many, many other lights, like this right here, doesn't give you that tactile right, response. Right, exactly. So, here, 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 come on in and take a look at this. So, um, this, the, this the guy right here, there's actually a level of resistance when you got gloves on and stuff, you need that. Like, because, you know, some of them so just kind of flop around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. And so, you can stop it at the exact point. Yep. Um, and then the other thing, question to me, is that when you want to go into the uh, sterile handle, if you remove this, because this is something that is probably autoclavable. It's right here. Okay. I, I also thought that that was going to be a release, release like quick yeah. release. It's got the same type of push Okay, uh, like push the button. old styles. Okay, yeah. So that means those. that this is a function. Right. So that is a manual focus. Yeah. So that would be interesting once we get it all connected. So you've got this focus or whatever this does, and then there's also some other function for this guy. Yeah. I don't really know. I'm, I'm, I'm so curious. Um, the other thing too is the question is is when you do release this, if you put on a traditional sterilized handle or, yep. or a disposable, how does that interact? I don't know. That, that's that's I, gonna I'm be a good curious. question. Yeah. So this is obviously a camera uh, mount right here. So this is not the camera version because this is gonna right. be on a portable. But um, so each of these light pods here articulates on its own axis, and then you have the central ones, which a lot of these lights might have um, a laparoscopy mode, right? Yeah, you know, which is a dimmed. Right, so I'm, a dimmed I'm, for the room. Yeah, I'm really kind of curious about the light field. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, pull out the base. This is just the light head in the first impression. First off, look at it's not flopping around. Like it's very sturdy. It's yeah. extremely sturdy, and I would venture to say overbuilt. These are recessed. Normally, some of them, um, the acrylic head is exposed a little bit and it cracks. These are all recessed. It's got this bump guard around the edge. Yeah. This thing is built oh, yes, incredibly, well, built. Yes, incredibly well. The handle is the only part that's questionable, and we'll take a look at that we'll in just a moment. That. Exactly. So, all right, guys, we're gonna unbox and then we're gonna uh, carry on. Okay, guys, this is the assembled Doctor Mach light system. Now, it's interesting because the Doctor Mach, uh, it's a German brand, and you guys know Horaeus and. Dr. Mach and Horaeus, they used to work together and then they split off two different companies. The technology is extremely similar. The spring arm is extremely similar. Everything, the commutators, the way that the light head connects, all of it is extremely similar. However, this light's got some cool features, all right? So not only is it built really well, you can see its rotation goes like what, 500 and some degrees? 
look at that. That's a lot. So it's got bump protection on the edges. It's got the handle, it's got the camera, we've got the camera fitted up, which is on wireless video. This light's got some other cool features. It's got shadow protection. So if you're standing underneath the light and you're, let's say right here, notice how it dims locally and then the other ones actually get brighter. So what it does is it keeps the same light field, but it's dimming certain sides, like right here, do that. So it doesn't create a shadow. So if I'm looking over a surgical field and the light is coming down over my head, that would be a shadow. So what it does, it dims that light, brightens the other one, and it prevents there from being a shadow, which is very cool. Like, look at even right here with my hand. There should be a, a giant shadow on the ground. Yeah. You can kind of see it when I move my hand, but the light is kind of responsive. So that's the little little light sensors that are on each and every one of the pods. Now, I was wrong. I thought that the pods would move and that they're mobile and they articulate like in the trunk lights, but these ones do not. These are stationary. And the handle, I was kind of right, kind of not right about its functionality. I thought that when you rotate it, it was going to rotate the pods and that was going to create your light field. But that is not it at all. The light field is calibrated from the factory and when you dim and brighten it, it's changing which LEDs in the pod are active, which is really kind of cool. Mobile parts inside a light head equal parts that are going to break. So non-mobile parts and electronic controls is probably going to be a pretty reliable product. So take a look at that. So maximum brightness, I'm leaning over it, there's almost no shadow. That's so cool. And it does, look at that, it dims the ones that it senses. So notice I've got the camera on there. I do know that this little guy up here, it has a, another function. The function is when you rotate it, it changes the color temperature. Now, it's kind of annoying. It should be on like a, a couple second timer. So that you hold it one second, changes light frequency, one second light frequency, but that's not how it works on this one. You have to flick it like that. Flicking something that's round is extremely annoying. I wish there was like a thumb like a thumb paddle so I could just hit it or even a button. Oh, God forbid we have buttons anymore. But, you know, you have to flick, flick, flick. There you go. Ah, that's, 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 that's kind of annoying, but I do like the fact that I can change the brightness and the light field and the color temperature from one control, one sterile handle. Very cool. Now over here, you can see the field size. So I can make the field size larger or smaller, light intensity, so the lights that are active, you can increase and decrease the brightness, the color temperature. There's five different settings, almost up to 5K, and it goes down to 3750K. So that gives you a yellow light and then a semi-bright, bright light. It does have endoscopic mode. So that's the green right here, the low intensity. I really love endo mode when they're doing cases and stuff. You can still see what you're doing, which is crazy. Um, it used to be that endoscopic cases, they would kill almost all the lights in the room and us, the biomeds, we would go into an almost black room and we'd be fishing around trying to do things. Endoscopic mode, I love it. Look at that. Actually, that's very doable. I like that. Very visible. So I dig it. We can turn on, shut off shadow mode. We can sync. So I think this light would sync with other light heads, which is kind of cool. So you adjust one and I would assume it adjusts the others. We got auto depth of field, and that's pretty much it for the light controls. But there is one other very large feature, um, this guy right here. It is a camera. It is an HD wireless camera, and from what I can assume, the antenna that transmits the video is integral to the camera. And look over here. There it is across the room, high definition, wireless video, it doesn't even have to be line of sight like some video uh, monitors have to be, where the antennas have to be perfectly aligned. These ones, because it is a round camera, I can move the light head around and the, the picture is not affected. Very interesting. It's got like an omnidirectional camera inside it. Oh, damn, that is so bright. <laughs> but anyway, that is a cool light. It's, it's a cool light. Built very sturdy. Now the only thing that I take a little bit of conflict with is the interactive handle. Some of its design features, it feels really good. 
but I, I think the color temperature, you're, you're not going to be changing the color temperature that often anyway. You're just going to be grabbing right here. But other than that, this light seems to be pretty on point when it comes to build quality. It uses extruded aluminum. I do believe that this is a battery base. It's an emergency light. But these light heads and this technology are going to be available in ORs going forward, which is going to be really cool because I really like the omnidirectional and change out cameras. Let's see. Let's do this. There we go. I shut it off. I can take two buttons, change out the camera. Look at that. So cool. And like I said before, the camera is actually built really well. Easy to change out. Look at that. It snaps back in. Let's turn it back on. And we are back in the business. I guess the only other thing I'm gonna share with you is it does have an infrared remote that controls it. So if you have a physician's assistant or somebody and they're helping you out in the room, you can change your video features. You can rotate the video. It's a digital zoom. It's got optical zoom, I think up to 30X, 30X optical zoom. That means like I could pinpoint like tip of my fingernail. That is really cool. Um, it's got focus, it's got brightness adjustment. Uh, I believe it's got white balance. And the remote is actually built really well. It's got a, a semi-skid proof boot. I wish the boot covered the whole thing, but you know, it's, it's already built better than most remotes. The only thing I have a qualm with is that it has infrared. I really wish, it's, it's a wireless system. I wish that it used Bluetooth instead of infrared because this has to be in direct line of sight to the video system in order to make the changes. Whereas the other ones, you could mount anywhere. You say mount it right here and you could make your adjustments. The remote, has no hanger, it has no clip, it has nothing to hold it anywhere. So the remote is likely to get placed on a flat surface someplace and forgotten. That's the only real qualm. I wish there was a method of hanging it, maybe on the light. Uh, but other than that, it just is what it is. The remote is built very well. The light is built extremely well. And from what I can tell, there might be a bright, bright future for Dr. Mach in the US market. Thanks for watching, guys.